The British government wants to allow the use of storm shadow missiles for military purposes in Russia, but this is hampered by the position of partners involved in their production. In particular, we are talking about France and the United States, according to the Sunday Times British ministers believe that their allies are still too afraid of escalation, and for good reason. The British do not believe that Russia will use nuclear weapons, even tactical ones, and they do not pay attention to the rhetoric that comes from Moscow. A British Ministry of Defense spokesperson quoted by Reuters said that the Ukrainian military could use British weapons in operations in Russia. The representative said, UK weapons can be used by Ukrainian troops in operations in Russia. However, restrictions on the use of storm shadow missiles remain in place. The representative said that Ukraine has clear right of self-defense against Russia's illegal attacks and that does not preclude operations inside Russia. We make clear during the gifting process that equipment is to be used in line with international law, the representative says. This policy means that UK tanks, anti-tank missiles, and other military equipment donated to Ukraine can be used on Russian territory as part of Ukraine's defense against a Russian invasion. At the same time, restrictions on the use of UK-supplied storm shadow missiles, which can only be used within Ukraine's internationally recognized borders, remain in place. Ukrainian forces deploy British Challenger 2 tanks during offensive in Russia's Kursk region, according to Sky News. According to the agency, it is the first instance of British tanks operated by Ukrainian soldiers being used in combat on Russian territory. The UK Ministry of Defence in London declined to comment on the details of the operation. The armed forces of Ukraine also did not provide any comments. However, the UK has confirmed that Ukraine is free to use British weapons on Russian territory following government policy. A Sky News source indicated that Challenger 2 tanks were among the equipment used and implied that they were deployed during the Ukrainian offensive that began on August 6. Details of how and when Ukrainian forces deployed the Challenger 2 tanks in the Kursk region are not yet clear. The number of tanks involved also remains unknown. However, Ukraine's powerful 82nd Air Assault Brigade, a unit operating British main battle tanks since last year, has been confirmed to participate in the Kursk offensive. In May, the then UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron said that Ukraine has the right to use weapons provided by London to defeat targets in Russia, but the government has not commented on the use of donated weapons by Ukrainian ground forces in Russia. The Swedish government has tasked the Defense Material Administration with exploring the possibility of establishing a presence in Ukraine from autumn 2024. This decision could lead to the stationing of several Swedish officials in Ukraine to provide on-site support for defense procurement, as announced by Swedish Defense Minister Paul Johnson, according to Forsvasekton Nayeta. While there is a strong military support in terms of equipment and training, Ukraine's most allies, including the US and Germany, have been clear in their reluctance to deploy boots on the ground largely due to concerns over escalating the conflict and triggering a direct confrontation with Russia. The expanded role of Defense Material Administration is part of the government's efforts to intensify support for Ukraine. The Swedish officials expected to work from the Swedish embassy in Kyiv will focus on ensuring maintenance, spare parts, and logistics for the military aid Sweden has already provided. We have provided extensive military support to Ukraine, and Defense Material Administration plays a crucial role in securing supply solutions, Johnson stated. Sweden's military support to Ukraine has so far consisted of 16 aid packages, totaling about $4,166 billion. The donated equipment includes combat vehicle Stridsforden 90, Stridswagen 122 tanks, Archer artillery systems and various types of anti-tank missiles, and advanced ammunition. FMV's new mission will include analyzing and learning from how this equipment has performed in combat. We naturally want to bring home lessons from this, Johnson emphasized. Defense Material Administration's role is also linked to the fact that Sweden's defense material resources are becoming limited. Johnson stressed that Sweden must now transition from donation surplus equipment to producing new equipment specifically for Ukraine.
In addition, Sweden has ordered about 1,000 CV-90 combat vehicles for Ukraine, which will be produced at facilities in Sweden and the Netherlands and delivered to Ukraine. Ukraine is expected to receive the first vehicles from the Netherlands in 2026, which will also be manufactured in the Netherlands. The Netherlands is investing more than 400 million euros in a Swedish fund to ensure the production of CV-90 combat vehicles for Ukraine.